Today I'm going to um, take this old quad-core Windows PC and turn it into a steam-powered media center with game console and all that fun stuff. Let's start by downloading both Kodi for our media center and um, Steam from steampowered.com. I've already installed one game on this box, so I'll be able to add it to the Steam dashboard and go through that whole process, launch the game and exit back into Steam and everything. So let's run the installation. Install Steam. Now I've already upgraded the graphics card in this machine to a GeForce 750 with HDMI output so I can connect it directly to the TV using that one cable. Okay, Steam is now installed, so let's go ahead and install Kodi, the Kodi Media Center that's available at Kodi.tv. Now we're going to go ahead and log into Steam using your Steam account or create one if you don't have one. Steam will send you an email with a security code um, that you'll have to enter to authorize this computer to um, log into your account. It just enter that security code and continue. I've already connected my Xbox 360 uh, wireless gamepad and wireless receiver to this computer and the driver's loaded. So now we'll go ahead and launch Steam in big picture mode by right clicking on the icon down here and clicking big picture. Now that we're in Steam big picture using the gamepad, we can go over to our library and um, add an app. I'm gonna add Dirt 3, since that's the only game I actually have installed on this machine. I'm also going to add Cody to the um, big picture dashboard here. And we can launch Kodi directly from Steam. Now, the first time you run it, you're going to have to grant it access to connect to the network. Um, it's good to have a mouse and keyboard connected for this part. Kodi natively supports navigation using the um, Xbox 360 gamepad that I've installed. So we can bounce around and exit and go right back into Steam. Now we'll go ahead and launch our game. Okay, so the game launches and everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of Steam because I'm gonna go back to the desktop now and set up Windows to auto login and confirm that Steam is set to um, launch in big picture mode. So let's click on start, type in CMD and with the command prompt, we'll need to run it elevated with elevated privileges. So right click on it and click run as administrator. And now we'll type control and then a space user passwords two, and this will give us the advanced um, user control panel applet. Okay, come on. Now we will 
uncheck the box that says users must enter a username and password to use this computer. Then click apply and it's gonna prompt you for the user and password that you want um, to automatically log on to the machine. So enter your password here, click okay, and okay again, and that's it. Now the machine will automatically log in with that, us that user account. Now let's make sure Steam is set up to start and log in automatically. So enter your password. You definitely want it to remember the password here. Now we want to go to Steam settings. So go up to Steam, go to settings. And we're going to click on interface. And we want to enable run steam when my computer starts and start steam in big picture mode. This will allow the machine to boot up, automatically log in since we already set that up in the user control panel applet. And it will launch steam directly into big picture mode. So let's give the machine a reboot, just to confirm that everything is working properly. You should see the machine log in your user automatically. And be presented with the desktop. And Steam is launching. Steam's gonna open directly into big picture mode. We're all set. That's really it for setting up your machine. Now, any games you install at the desktop, um, you can just add by going to your library and clicking that plus. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts, add them to the comments below or shoot me a message.